that's like it's weird honestly like that one discovery has changed like my entire perception and like mood towards like everything here ruptured core so this thing this thing is literally the reason all of the Nehemiah are dead and I'm not going to read through all of this because it'll just make me even more sad but yeah like we know what killed them now but time and space wait for no man apart from when you're on a weird space time loop thing uh, da -da -da, so we have unfinished business business on Ember Twin still we have we have an anglerfish cave to find our way into, and it's been like a hot minute, maybe like maybe like an hour or so, maybe more, uh, since we got sidetracked into doing the gravity cannon stuff instead. But man, am I I don't know if happy is the right word, but I'm glad we went and I'm glad we went and did that because it's like man, like I, it's genuinely changed my entire outlook on the game. Well, not Outlook, I suppose. Like, I'm still enjoying it loads, but, like, it puts... It puts a lot of things into perspective. And, like, gives a lot of reasons as to why... The world ends up as it does. I do... I wish it told me how long ago that shuttle got fired. Because... It must have been ages ago, because the Nomai are anciently extinct. But I do wonder if any of them are still alive. Because I found those couple on Ash Twin that seemed... Recent. And, like I said, something had to send that signal to the gravity cannon that fires the probe to get that thing going to begin with. I just need to land. Because I will ramble forever about what I just discovered. I need to get... Where do I need to go? I need to get to the Sunless City. And that is a task that requires a little bit of attention to get there in time. Uh, there's also probably just parts of the Sunless City I've not explored yet because I very quickly found the door to the energy lab and kind of just went from there. Um... I also wonder if there's anything further down that the Nomai never really bothered going down to fetch or check um, as the planet fills up or as the planet's at its lowest level even. Uh, so Sunless City and Anglerfish are the agenda at the moment. More for myself to keep track of than anything because as it turns out this game's got a lot going on and I'm a massive... like. I was very apprehensive to start this game. Like, I had heard, like, a few bits and bobs and, like, spoilers. Um, like, mild ones, like, without context for anything. But, honestly, like, I don't think any of that matters. Like, if you... Like, I'd recommend this game to anyone, regardless of what they've heard, really, because... Putting this game into context, putting the information you gain and how you gain it and when you gain it... I suppose, like, people can gain it in different orders, because that's how the game's laid out, but... Like, everything's just... I don't know if I've got, I've got, like, lucky with how I've been going through doing it, but... The way in which you unfold information in this game is truly unique and interesting. Fuck you, Sand. Right, so this is the energy pipe. And this is a tower which I haven't climbed up from the bottom manually. I do wonder if there's any writing anywhere. I said it before when I was in a structure like this on Brittle Hollow, but I don't care where I was when I started with like any pre pre notions about the game or anything like that. I need to mine this game for everything it contains because it's too intriguing not to. It's too cool not to, honestly. Uh, that's just a broken ring. Hang on, I don't even know if "cool's" the right word. Like, intriguing is the best word I've got for it, but I don't think even that does justice for it. And this music! I told you this music was sad to begin with, but man, knowing how all these guys, like, died now, like, properly, for realsies, it's just heartbreaking, I guess. That's the best word I've got for it. Like, it doesn't make me happy. It makes me sad in, like, a strange way. <laughs> did I read this before? I think I did. I can't remember what it was. Sun Station. Yeah, okay, so that's them considering the Sun Station. Man, what did you guys do? Angler Overlook, Stepping Stone. So, light up these things. 
Although, what is that? I think that's the Ice Shrine District. I want to have a quick gander. I did explore all of this before, didn't I? I don't know if I came over here. Oh, I don't know if I did go up here before. Oh, middle floor. Yep, just more of their helmets. Uh, oh, Solanium. Or Solanum. I don't know why everyone says the eye is so important. Uh, they say it brought us to this solar system, but is that good? That told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. Uh, what if the eye isn't something good? What if the eye wanted that to happen? I've had my suspicions as well that whatever's inside the Dark Bramble, like, there was some text at some point earlier saying that, like, one of, I think it was one of the other eye shrines saying that, like, what if the destination wasn't correct with the eye signal? Either the Dark Bramble's using the eye signal to kind of feed on people coming to this place. It seems just kind of malevolent in nature, even though it seems to just be a plant. Uh, I'm not looking forward to going in there and looking into more of that whenever we get there. Because I don't remember what this door was. Oh, it's that gravity cannon. If I remember correctly, it's... Blocked? No. Huh. Okay. Well, it's mostly blocked. <laughs> Uh, but we've done basically everything we wanted to at the gravity cannon already. But yeah, this this matter just makes me sad now. Like any time I see this stuff, is like in a whole other context now. Uh, anglerfish, anglerfish, anglerfish. As one of these days, I am gonna have to go and deal with them. Let's turn off the lights to everywhere else, so it's easier to find my way. And there's probably still parts of the Sun City I need to have a look around. Like buildings like this. Let me just check the ground floor of this quickly, for anything. Doesn't seem like it. Oh man, every time this music starts. Literally every time. Anglerfish Overlook, okay. So, the kids recommended to fire a light in here, give it another lantern. I've checked this before, but I think there is a hole above the fish. Yeah, because you can see outside. I can see... something up there. I don't know what that is. That thing kind of flickering around. Um, I can see literally no my kids in there. Man! Video games! Right, so I need to find my way outside... quickly. Um, and into Anglerfish Cove. The kids said there was a way to it via that, like, stepping stone thing. Was there a door out here? I remember there being something. Yeah, there's a door, but it's broken. And this place is just... Ow, 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 <laughs> Oh, man. That was, uh, gruesome in a way I wasn't quite fully prepared for. <laughs> I just got crushed to death. <laughs> That was a way out. Uh, so yeah, what I might do, as I've said I'm going to be doing for a, for a while, is I'm going to run to Anglerfish Overlook, fire a probe into it, and then just go out the way I came. Or maybe get there early enough to get outside the way the kids um, got to it. So yeah, just went and had a little bit of a quick break. Uh, what was I what was I doing other than being mildly sad? Uh, Anglerfish. That's what we were doing. And we got crushed to death. That's what happened. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> oh, man. This is a good game. This is a good video game. I can very much see why this was some people's game of the year for 2019. I can... I wish I'd have played this sooner. I wish somebody had just sat me down and been like, no. Like, if you like... <sighs> this game's so hard to describe without spoiling things, honestly. Um... Because the things that are good about it is like the discovery and like coming to terms with things yourself, but until you find like enough threads to pull on and enough information, the game really doesn't handhold you in 
the game can feel a bit weird. And I've got a couple of people into the game after I've started playing. Uh, they've had similar issues where they've been like, okay, the game's cool and everything, but what's the point? And it's a hard thing to say to them, like, you kind of just have to discover the point for yourself. And I don't know, even I don't really know exactly what we're trying to do. I've got some theories that would take a while to explain. Um, but just the discovery, I think it's just the discovery is the cool part of it. And if you like discovering cool things like hidden lore behind stuff, uh, and just like environmental storytelling and like just cool storytelling in general with these records and stuff. Um, the game is truly like like a masterclass of slowly letting you figure out the story for yourself. And I appreciate that a lot. It's really good. Okay, so this is... Scout, how did you not attach to anything? Okay, so that's the same anglerfish, I think, as the one upstairs. Well, as the one that you could fire the thing into otherwise. So, can I... Because this is much easier to get out than going all the way into the sunless city and then going all the way back in. Unidentified signal nearby. What the quantum man? Frequency unidentified. Unidentified signal. What? Can I? Wait. When it says unidentified signal, does that mean you can get the... I'm... I, how have I only just figured that out? <laughs> when it says like unidentified signal, it means you can pull the damn scope out and go and scan the thing. I've been playing this game for how many hours now and I've only just put two and two together? I am... I am so stupid. <laughs> okay, so that's what this is. It's a distress beacon. It's not looking out for others, it is this ship's distress beacon. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> uh, that better not be the entrance to Anglerfish Cave. There better be another entrance. <laughs> uh, can I find a way through Le Crevasse? My scout is down. Hmm. So those kids mentioned like a stepping stone place. I don't know where that is. Hmm. Maybe I do need to go into... Let me go refuel quick. Oh boy. Ow. <laughs> you really do make a real comical thud on things. Um, wait, does it explain... Do I have any notes in here that explain how to get to the anglerfish? Still more to explore in the Sunless City. So there is still more to do there. Quantum Cave, so there's more to figure out there. Lake Bed Cave, that's figuring out his mystery. Uh, da -da -da, anglerfish, where was... Anglerfish... Hanging City... Anglerfish Fossil. Uh, the Nomai learned to evade the anglerfish theoretically, at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil ember twin. Nomai children used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There is a way to enter Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the angler... Okay, so you do need to be in the cave in order to get to where we're going. I thought you could just kind of get to it from out here, but no. Nope. Got to be in the cave. Uh, hope I have enough time to get to the cave. <laughs> We got a whole ass. The, the, the stepping stones. So, this place takes not super long to find your way to, but we, when you're on... I'm glad that also, um, earlier with the experiment, and with the entire point of what the Nomai was trying to do, it does finally clarify that it is an exactly 22 minute thing that they've set up. Uh, that's nice to have confirmed. Uh, into here. What we're looking like. I'm stupid. I shouldn't have recalled that because that was already where I needed it to be. Anglerfish. Uh, so I can do it from here. Fuck off. I'm in a rush. 
you into it. So there's a way in there from Stepping Stone. Get rid of this, don't recall it. Where is Stepping Stone? If I was a betting man, I would say I don't know. But I think this little pathway finder thing here can tell me. Geometry! Get out of the way. Stepping Stone District. Lights on. Down here. Stepping stones. Broken door. Oh man, don't play the sadness. What? Uh, it was down here that lit up. Um, I don't know how much time I've got, or if it's even possible to get to where I'm trying to go at the point in the cycle we are at. But I will keep frantically looking like a madman. <laughs> oh, maybe the sand's already too high. That'd be unfortunate. I did spend a bit of time getting here, but yeah, I think... Uh, I think what I'm looking for might be already too low. Oh no! I am... I've said it a lot, but I am very stupid. <laughs> well, here's the cave. I'm very dumb. I'm sorry, my dude. You dead as fuck. Ugh. Okay, so I know where the cave is now. I need to get there soon enough before the place fills with sand. We will... We will figure out what's going on with this anglerfish. Like, Dark Bramble was like the first place I went after the moon. Or the Atoll Rock. And... I am still yet to go back to it because I'm terrified of these anglerfish. Like, honestly. It freaks me out. And I've known for a while that the thing that explains how to deal with them is on Ember Twin. And I'm still, at this point, <laughs> trying to figure out how to get into the place that tells me what to do.